Well, before we do the weekly segment, I want to I want to read some comments from our previous episodes. Yeah, from some of our uh, longtime listeners. Uh, what you got? Well, so Charles McDonald. Hey, says CJ. From, 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 he's a sponsor of the podcast. <laughs> Charles McDonald says, snoring, this is when we're talking about snoring. Snoring is not an exclusive to the location, Caleb. If you snore on the ground, you snore on the plane. And Because I, I said I <laughs> snore on the plane. So he's insinuating that I also snore on the ground. I do not, sir. <laughs> it is only when I'm at 30,000 feet is when I'm snoring. But I, honestly, I have an update about my wife snoring. She was sleeping the other day with her mouth wide open, and she was not snoring. It was just not a sound. Was I, she alive? I thought she was dead. I mean, she but, could, <laughs> you just like, oh, you good? Uh, <laughs> this comment is from Stretch zero two one five. I'm still yelling. Not everybody should have a podcast. <laughs> what episode was that from? I don't know. <laughs> It was from like a reel or something. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Stretch0215. Yeah. Not everybody. You know what? I agree with you. Not everybody should have a podcast. Max Levy said, follow the pod on Apple, listen to an episode, keep it up. Very funny, raw, and great banter with Levi. Aw, thanks, Max. Max Levy. Max Levy's awesome. Max Levy is awesome. This is from Elise McBride. Love how transparent you guys are. This is a great podcast communicating about stuff that guys don't open up about very refreshing thank you elise Mm -hmm. and then uh from another comment came from my neighbor who lives across the street who said this to my face i feel like caleb and i are best friends so you told your neighbors about the podcast first of all my wife tells my neighbors (laughs) about everything that i'm doing uh but no i was taking my trash out and my neighbor was like hey i listened to your most recent episode i said thank you and she said i told your wife this but I just feel like we're best friends now. And I said, all right. Hey, let, <laughs> let's have her on the podcast. Hey, we're going to go ahead and close <laughs> up, folks. Mm. Do you have... So honestly, after this episode, I don't have a rant. Um, I I will say, if I give a praise, I would like to say thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one thing I've really enjoyed. You know, when we came into this podcast, I don't think we really... We we didn't know what it would become. We still, right. I think, we're still on the ground running. But I think it's been really cool to be open and vulnerable about vulnerable about some things that mm-hmm. have gone on in our life. And I'm I'm looking forward to the future. You know, to to more vulnerability with each other, and you know, to be have a positive open space. So, um, just thank you, um, and thank you to my wife Julia, our producer. Um, Big shout out to Julia, the producer. You know, she is truly my rock in this life, and I could not. I could have not gone through everything I've gone through without her by my side. Yeah. She's better so, than you. Yeah. No, she's my, the better part of me. You know, people say that you are like the cool one in the relationship. It's actually Julia. I mean, it's me, but um. no, like because of how cool, <laughs> like Julia is like, because of how she's cool, cool she collected. is, she makes you look cool because yeah. of how cool she is. Yeah. It's like, if she wasn't around you, you would be lame. Oh, for sure. Trying to be cool, but like she actually makes you cool. I would still be, what's up, Caleb? Pop! Boy, we would not be friends. So you need to tell your wife thank you, because if it wasn't for her, we would not be friends. I love you. 